Greetings, Pokey fans and Flow Gangsters of all shapes and sizes. Today's video is extremely special. I don't do many Pokemon videos on the channel. Today we have Pokemon Heart Gold, the final gym leader, Claire, in the first region. Before you get to the Elite Eight, this is the final gym boss that you have to face with her dragon types. So, baby, buckle your seatbelts because this is going to be a fight. We're pretty much doing a live commentary. And if you guys want to see more Pokemon videos in the future, definitely. Definitely let me know by leaving a like on this video. So first we have our Scyther and we used U-turn like an absolute idiot, like an absolute buffoon because this was not the type it like i did not have the type advantage there but at least u-turn allows zoro to come back and you will notice a, a trend in these names we got nico robin our ampharos now this is a way better pick of course gyarados is going to get the first hit with his dragon rage that's going to do a good amount of damage yeah yeah but not that much so we're gonna hit hit him so he, he gets a second dragon rage and now that in my opinion is just not fair that is so unfair like i should have definitely been able to at least get a discharge off but this is where i start realizing like okay we could still we could still pull this through you know level 34 i am lower leveled than claire's pokemon you know what i'm saying but we still push forward we still push through and we are going crazy so we switch pokemon right here we're gonna switch off so again you will notice a trend this is the whole one piece crew on my team you already know so we got my gengar don't ask me how i got him just know i got him just know i got him since he was a baby i leveled up all of these pokemon so i don't feel bad about the way i got him bro i'll be honest like most of them you know i captured but this guy uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to throw myself under the bus anymore. We hit him with a Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is super, super clutch in Gen 2. Very, very great move. Gen 2, honestly, is super, super fun, by the way. Like, and I really, really enjoyed this game, you guys. Like, I have... I am on the Elite Four currently, and I was thinking about doing a real live com where I'm actually playing the game while doing the commentary but i decided to do it this way just so i can get a feel of it and so you guys can also get a feel of it you know to see how these pokemon videos fare up on the channel but there we go we took out the dragonair um i don't know if i'm gonna switch pokemon here it would make sense to okay i guess not i mean i'm i'm paralyzed but we didn't switch off that's fine let's see what happens here so we're gonna go ahead and fight of course and oh no wait Okay, so she used the Dragon Pulse. That's probably going to take me out. Oh, nice. Yeah, Luffy is mad clutch. The reason I named him Luffy is because he's like a captain, bro. He's the Don Show, bro. He's the strongest on the team. Like, when he comes out, he starts wrecking everything. And, like, he... Uh, Gengar Generation 2 was kind of OP. And, of course, Generation 1. But Generation 2 Gengar, this is the first time I've ever gotten to use a Gengar. And he's shiny. Freaking amazing, bro. I hate the whole training thing on... Like, you just can't do it the way I play, and it's, it's not fair. It, it just sucks. So, I'm so happy that I was able to use Gengar. So, we went ahead and used the Hyper Potion on him, I guess. And uh, we're going to try to see what else we can do. We still have Paralysis, by the way. So, that is definitely going to affect us to an extent. But let's see what happens. So, Claire's Dragonair. She used another Dragon Pulse. Uh, really, really annoying, to be honest. But, hey, as long as the Paralysis doesn't get us here... Oh, no. She was able to use a second Dragon Pulse. That is not good, ladies and gentlemen. That is not good. Uh, Luffy is down. I don't think he's going to get rezzed. I'll be honest. Uh, but, yeah. So, we're going to swap out here. Uh, we got our first fainted Pokemon here. Uh, but she's down way more than us. So, we swap back to, Jor to Zoro. And uh, Zoro Joro, you know, I'm watching Wano right now. So, we had to name him after the Wano names. But we went ahead, we, we had the Quick Claw, so at least she doesn't get another Dragon Pulse or anything crazy like that. We use the Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam is a great move. I'm sure a lot of you guys didn't know Scyther could learn it. I didn't know until I started playing Heart Gold. And this is my first time playing Heart Gold. I've never played Heart Gold. I played Gold uh, in high school, but I never played Heart Gold. And I love Heart Gold, bro. It's so good. Man, that makes me sound old. <laughs> I played in high school. But yeah, so we're going to switch out to... What are we doing? What am I doing here? I am trying to find the revive. There we go. Because we want Luffy back. Because uh, we know that Luffy was doing good damage on them. You know, so we want to stick to that. And again, I like to handicap myself in these battles. Because, you know, if you go too hard, it's not like a real tournament versus real players. Like, 
you will win especially if you use potions and revives and all that type of stuff so essentially i try to use as little pokemon as possible in these battles so again we have another hyper beam that was huge this second hyper beam was absolutely huge um yeah did a decent amount of damage this dragon pulse is definitely going to take out our zoro uh again he is shiny bro all, all like most of my most of my dudes are shiny looking great you know what i'm saying we're gonna swap out to back to luffy so you see what i'm saying when i say i like to use as little pokemon as possible we swap back out to luffy instead of switching out and i think we're gonna go for a shadow ball if i'm not mistaken i think we're gonna go for a shadow ball if i okay there we go i was about to say I, sometimes you have to take a second to think you know assess the situation but the shadow ball was definitely the right play right there so if he doesn't take me out right here this dragon air is going down i'm telling you this dragon air is going absolutely down so he took me out uh unfortunately so we go back to robin our electric type so we're hoping that we can get first hit here we don't have a quick claw or anything like that we and we didn't get first hit now is this gonna take us out it does not it leaves us at five we use discharge and this should in turn take out the dragon air uh that is that attack is not very effective but i sometimes you got to use the not very effective tactics to just take down the opponent quick and easy when they're at a low hp so we have uh King kingdra right here this is a perfect matchup for nico robin in my opinion but let's see what happens baby so one pokemon left um i'm at five hp i don't know if i'm gonna get first hit here but if we do it's gonna be easy pickings nope so we use discharge i should have used thunder I don't know why I didn't use Thunder here. Because look, it does not do that much damage. Thunder would have potentially taken Kingdra to half HP. I should have definitely used Thunder. But here we go. We got the Hyper Potion on Nico. Again, trying to use as limited Pokemon as possible. We heal her up. Get her up there. And she should be in the hundreds back again. Almost fully healed. Oh no, she is fully healed. Nice. Whole 113 points. Just like that. The only thing is Kingdra is probably going to get a second move. So Kingdra is going to be able to use two separate moves more than likely before I can use one. Yeah. So that's a big issue. May potentially take us out right here. And Nami will not. I mean, Robin. Okay, no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on, fellas. Hold on, fellas. Nice thunder, baby. Nice thunder. Now, uh, her berry is going to, you know, promote her Pokemon up a little bit more. But that's not, that's not too bad. Instead of... Uh, Kindra being one hit it is now two hits so now I know that so we are gonna go ahead and use another thunder but before we're able to do that she is able to use her dragon pulse and take us out inevitably and unfortunately Robin does not get her to level 35 that sucked so we are three Pokemon whited out this is when we're gonna start seeing my other Pokemon so here we have uh, Jinbei now Jinbei is sick and he literally acts like Jinbei from the anime he has similar moves to Jinbei like it's actually crazy the way that like and uh, Piplup is a really really great Pokemon to have in this game I noticed a really really great Pokemon I needed a water type you know what I'm saying I did I picked the worst starter uh you know because I wanted to switch it up I always pick the fire starter sometimes the water starter but this time I picked the grass starter and I never picked the grass starter now let's see if this takes us out because I really wanted to showcase you guys Jinbei. Okay, there we go. So Metal Claw for some reason. Why did I use it? I have no idea. It does absolutely nothing to him. That was a really dumb move. I should have just plucked. If like if I'm gonna use Jinbei, I should have just plucked. That would have definitely done a lot better than Metal Claw. But that was that was crazy. We're looking for status healers right now. So we're gonna revive. I think Luffy is my guess no robin okay makes sense makes more sense so kendra has to recharge after those crazy moves after those crazy power moves hydro pump missed thankfully because hydro pump would have probably taken us out although we're a water type uh but pluck is still not even doing that much did i just try to use a water type move against kendra no way i just did that bro oh this is kind of embarrassing you guys that's that was really embarrassing what, what was that i think i just gave up right there i knew he was gonna faint so we're gonna switch out to Nico Robin now. I really wish that we showed my uh, my Dragon Air, but I don't think we show it in this battle. But we, uh, we got another battle coming up after this versus our rival, and I think it's one of the final, if not the final, battle of, against our rival. It was a really great, great battle, and you guys definitely want to stay tuned for that. But we discharged, and it looks like we took out Claire, baby. So that is Claire done, you guys, and on to the next battle. That was sick. That was absolutely six. That was the final and eighth gym badge taking us to the Elite Four. Let's 
freaking go ladies and gentlemen like i was saying in the previous and prior clip we are facing our rival for a heated heated battle i'm telling you you're you're gonna be off your seats for this one this one is crazy but we're jumping right into the action here no cutscene, no bs no dialogue straight action this is his first pokemon sneasel we hit him with a fire blast we got our nami right here like i was just talking about this is our fifth pokemon that we have yet to show we just showed it and she is looking beautiful going crazy with that fire blast you already know good job nami and then we hit him with a slam you know get rid of him get rid of her real quick get rid of her. you know what i'm saying so we got our 1k xp uh she's gonna send he's gonna send out golbat we're gonna i think we're gonna swap or are we gonna stay with nami Okay, we're going to swap. Now, this is not the best type matchup that I picked here, but I really like Shadow Ball. I really like Gengar. I never got to use him before. Cut me some slack, bro. I just, I just wanted to use it. I just wanted to use him here. This is this is just flex points. And I forgot that Gold Bats and Zubats can no bite, and that absolutely messed me up. Almost 60 damage that one bite did alone. That is a lot. One bite pizza reviews on my ass type shit. That was crazy. That was crazy. So we're going to go ahead and hit him with a Shadow Ball. If we can. No, we're not even going to be able to. That was a really bad type matchup on my part. But at least we did some damage with our first Shadow Ball. We're going to go ahead and swap out to hopefully the good option. Okay, we're not even going to swap out to our, our Electric. I guess I'm just really just trying to have fun. That's really what I try to do in these Pokemon games. Try to have fun. I don't really care too, too much about type matchups. I just want to see certain Pokemon do certain things. And obviously, certain Pokemon need to level up. I want to get Nami to Dragon Knight level at level 50. I cannot believe that didn't take him out. I cannot believe it. That is why I play Pokemon, though, for moments like this. Because it gets intense. It gets heated. So many moves. So much Poke Power gone down the drain. But we hit him with a Waterfall. For some reason, it was a critical. We didn't even need that. But, hey, not, not 1,300 XP. Our rival. Don't worry about our rival's name, you guys. Don't worry about it, man. I, I was a little tight, man. He, he's kind of a, he's kind of a A to the S to the S, bro. I, that's that's all I gotta say. That's why he was named that. But don't worry about all. That. Don't worry about all. That. <laughs> I just realized. Oh no! I just realized. Oh, I can't stop looking at the name. <laughs> so use mean luck. We can't escape. We're not gonna escape anyways we don't want to dip out of here we're gonna flex on you actually use a serve jinbei he's not going anywhere and his name is jinbei with an n i named him jinbei with an m like an idiot i should probably swap that but whatever hits us with a shadow ball does a lot of damage 50 something damage bubble beam on him you already know this bubble beam should take him out good thing it hit bubble beam usually always hits it might be a hundred percent accuracy because I always hit my bubble beams, but sometimes I think I've missed them. I'm not sure. Now, Magneton is a force to be reckoned with, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't played Pokemon, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. This thing is the absolute worst. I don't know what to use against them. I don't know what types work and what types don't. Obviously, using Zoro was a bad mistake on my end, and I honestly knew that. I don't know why I picked Zoro for this. He's a bug type versus Magneton, a metal, steel, electrical, ugly looking thing. I don't know, but I wish that Hyper Beam hit, but it did not. Thunder Wave, that is huge. I'm a bug type. That's going to paralyze me instantly, and it's going to make it harder and harder. But hey, pause on that. Pause on that for a second. But he used Supersonic. Now we're confused, and we have Paralysis. This is the Devil's Combination. This is a terrible combination, in my opinion. I hate it for Generation 2. I have been affected by this combination so many times. Spark is going to do so much damage. This might even potentially take out our Scyther. Oh, nice. So usually, one thing I like about our Scyther is even when he's confused, even when he's paralyzed, he's still able to hit his stuff. He is a very focused Pokemon. For whatever reason, they made him focus up more than any other pokemon in the game when he's going through all these status changes he does not care every time he gets poisoned by the way he survives the, the poison and a lot of pokemon do not so i mess with that to be honest but nevertheless he fainted that was not a good type mashup my bad zoro but yeah we're not going to use kenya kenya is not part of the team by the way we only use him for fly he's only there for fly i didn't think i was going to run into my rival right here so that's why we have kenya but it's fine it's fine so he's going to hit us with a spark. That's going to absolutely destroy Jinbei. I feel so bad for him. 
I should have gave him a potion or something like that. Now, as you guys can see, this battle is cutthroat. This battle is super close, a lot closer than the prior. This battle is going nuts. So we use our Sanji. This is our sixth and final Pokemon. I haven't shown you guys him yet. So this is our final evolution. You already know. Now, apparently, he's the worst Pokemon in the game, the worst starter in the game, whatever. But in my opinion, he learns Frenzied Plant and he learns Petal Dance. Petal Dance. You know what I'm saying? So he goes crazy with those moves. And I, like, don't get me wrong. They're not the best moves in the game. They're pretty average moves. But, hey, if he didn't learn them, he would be really bad. So at least... He knows those moves, and I'm not going to give up on Sanji, bro. Sanji is the OG. He was the first Pokemon. So we're going to max revive Jinbei. This is a W. This was definitely perfect. I'm glad I had two of those stocked up because that was perfect. Absolutely perfect. So that Lava Flume is going to do immense damage. I'm surprised it didn't take us out, actually. And here, I think we're going to do one last Hoorah. But nevertheless, he gets a second Lava Plume, unfortunately, and we go down. And now, again, like I was saying, this battle is getting heated. But as soon as we switch to Jinbei, things are going to change. Things are going to start, you know, going more in our favor. At least I hope. Let's see what we do. Let's see what we do. So um, the best bet is Surf. 100% Swift. I'm glad that he used Swift. It's not really going to do that much damage, but it is going to definitely do something. You know, a quarter of our health gone just like that in one Swift. I don't like the move Swift, to be honest with you. I never really did. Uh, I just unlocked it. I'm playing Pokemon Arceus right now, too. I unlocked it for Pikachu. I'm not using that move. I'm not using that move. I'm not giving him that move to use. Now, thank God that didn't take us out. It burned us and everything, but thank God that didn't take us out. Now, we got our Bubble Beam. This should go ahead and take out Typhlosion. There we go, baby. That is what we wanted to see. As long as that flame didn't take us out, we were lucky. We honestly got lucky there. All right. So, is this my his last opponent his last pokemon no he has two pokemon left and we also have two pokemon left uh but one of them is super low now he's able to use his spark and completely damage us completely take us out completely destroy us i feel bad for jimbei but it is what it is super effective you are you know jimbei fainted we're going over to nami and we're gonna go ahead and try to close this out potentially with just nami but maybe we might revive another pokemon we'll see what we do here we probably will just because nami is so low now here i'm getting nervous bro because i don't want kenya to come out and i was debating on whether or not i should use pokemons or revives thank god he used magnet bomb because magnet bomb is not really that effective again at least against nami we go ahead and use waterfall now this should take him out theoretically it does not that is ridiculous that is as that really pissed me off i had to take a pause there and i was like okay now is the time to use the potions before i get messed up so he went ahead and used the hyper potion on nami got her up there but again guys this battle is immense this battle is crazy so we're gonna use the hyper potions healed her by 80 points used another magnet bomb thank god that was great for us now most likely as long as we hit this we're gonna we're gonna take him out now i don't understand why the game allowed him to use a second one but whenever you use Hyper Potions and Revives and stuff like that, you, that's to be expected. That usually happens. Unless you have a Quick Claw or a Quicker Attack. So Dragon Rage on him. Completely destroyed. I love the Dragon Rage in this game, by the way. They've really improved it from, from Gen 1. The way it looks and the way it performs and stuff. I like it. We unlock Dragon Rush. Now, of course, I'm going to forget a move and go over to Dragon Rush. Are you kidding me? Dragon Rush is one of the best Dragon-type moves in the entire game. Of course, I'm going to forget Slam and swap it out. Of course, I am. So we learned Dragon Rush. Now I am trigger happy to use that move. Just keep that in mind. So we have Kadabra here. Now this guy, he's not good with his psychic types. He doesn't know how to use Kadabra. Like it's it's crazy. But before we do anything here, we're going to go ahead and pop a res. And we're going to go ahead and res Kadabra's counter. Now this is my counter to his counter. Just in case. You know, we don't want to lose this battle. Now he disabled our Dragon Rage. So now that leaves us with one option only dragon rush inevitably he is gonna get that side beam off thank god it doesn't take us out though 23 hp hit him with a dragon rush and what happens well the rest is history folks the w happens we take the w we defeat our rival and we go on to the elite four but he goes there first we're most likely gonna have to face him at least one more time uh after the elite four or before so i am excited you guys if you guys want to see an elite four video let me know down below in the comments i loved making this video i love you guys and i think i'm gonna i want to drop more pokemon videos so stay tuned baby i love you all peace out flow gang